I had to vengeance to this man and now he's going to kill me. Come to my rescue. I was getting lifted into air and immediately I should narrate the experience of with Lord Ganesha in connection with Satya Sai Baba. So let me first invoke our bosom, dearest embodiment of love and virtues, Lord Ganesha. I am a Maharashtrian basically, so I have a lot of affinity to this form because we worship Lord Ganesha sincerely for ten days every year. But I must mention the route that I took to develop relationship with Lord Ganesha and had this experience, Not everyone should not emulate others blindly. Something else may happen. With me what happened was beautiful, nice, but we should not take somebody's experience and emulate somebody blindly. For me, whatever conversation took place between me and Lord Ganesha, it was spontaneity, it was natural, and therefore my request is everyone should not follow this path. Anyway, the circumstances where I prayed to Lord Ganesha fervently in my own style, were very difficult and critical circumstances on the entire student community of Satya Sai Institute. <coughs> I came to Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba as student in 86, 87, and this incidence is in relation to Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba suffering from a hip fracture in 88. Bhagavan Baba suffered from a hip fracture by falling in a bathroom and he said there was a piece of soap lying down there and he did not see and he fell down and suffered from a hip fracture. He himself said this. He went for taking little rest to Whitefield and constantly messages were coming to us. Bhagavan sent one letter for all the boys through Ram Mohan Rao, sir, stating that no one should do any fasting for recovery of Baba. He said, all should pray to Baba for his well-being, physical well-being, as if you would pray for your own physical form and physical well-being. He is not going to use his powers to cure himself. When the prayers of the students will materialize and reach, his form will be cured automatically. I was one of the person who used to fast heavily. When I heard this message, I felt I should not have troubled me and I should not have troubled Bhagavan. It so happened on one eventful morning, <coughs> my routine was to do jogging pradakshina of the school Ganesha, High school Ganesha, that huge idol of Lord Ganesha, I used to do jogging pradakshina early morning after Suprabhatam. While I was doing that pradakshina, I was so much annoyed with all gods and especially Lord Ganesha. <coughs> I stood in front of that huge idol of Ganesha and started scolding Ganesha as if it is not the idol, but verily Lord Ganesha is present there in person. And I said, you fellow who have been worshipping you for ages, offering you naivedyam, etc., but our prayers have not yet reached you. I have been praying to you constantly for a big favour. And I said, Ganesha, 
If these prayers are not answered in time, what is the use of praying to a fellow like you? This was a very personal heart-to-heart, one-to-one communication to Lord Ganesha. I started scolding, I was highly emotional, I was crying, and whatever was there nearby in my hand, with that I started beating the idol. Then I blamed this God, and I brought him to real terms, where he stands. And what is his relation to Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba? I said, Bhagavan Ganesha, you are supposed to remove obstacles. Vigna, aap vigna dur karte hai, you are supposed to remove vigna. You cannot remove a small piece of soap lying there in the bathroom from your father's path and your father fell down in the bathroom. Father in reference to Shiva Shakti Sarupa, Bhagavan Shri Satya Sai Baba, you could not remove such a small obstacle. What help can you give to us? It's all total cheating. And I started scolding further. And within a short while, I felt that some force has come out of that idol and it is lifting me into the air. Then I got scared. I was shivering, panting, gasping for breath. And I know I was lifted up into the air. And then I started praying to Bhagwan, Baba, please, <laughs> for your sake I took panga with this fellow. I took rive- I took vengeance to this man, Ganesha, and now he's going to kill me. Come to my rescue. I was getting lifted into the air. And I prayed to Swami, please come to my rescue. Otherwise this fellow will kill me. And immediately, I was lifted to about six to seven or eight feet. I was dropped down. I don't know if I had not prayed, maybe like to Karam, I would have gone to Vaikuntam just like that. Lord Ganesha dropped me from there. And when I came down, it is all concrete. But when I came down, I felt no harm, nothing. And I was in exact perfect Padmasan moment, I landed on the ground. And my whole body became stiff. I was crying, shivering for a while, and then the body became stiff. And I felt, I remember this hundred percent as it is. (coughs) Body became stiff and stone, and a soothing glow of ice started travelling from the tip of my toe and all over the body, and then it rose through the spinal column and it came to the top of the head. And as it is said, it opened my eye, third eye got open, that is called Agni Chakra. And in that, first person I saw was Guru Nanak Dev Ji, because I used to sing Guru Vani early morning, then I saw a beautiful dancing Ganesha, different, different postures, different, different forms of Ganesha, and I was hearing some different divine music within. And that continued for some time. And then later on I saw there was a photo of Baba on which I used to meditate earlier days, and that was the photo when Swami declared his avatar, avatar root. That photo I used to meditate. And that photo of Swami, where Bhagavan was sitting in a nicker and a half shirt, and I saw Bhagavan Baba in the third eye, and he was doing like this. The power which went up, when Baba did like that, it came down. When that power came down, I was was not able to bear this situation, because that was a case of extreme ecstasy, and this is the state of total worldliness. Later on, I narrated this experience to our warden then, and he narrated to Swami, and then a word came to me from Swami. And I was told by warden I should take rest for next one week. 
and don't do too much of hard work in the hostel and relax. Then Baba confirmed to me that it was the experience of Kundalini rise. I did not know until he confirmed that it is the experience of rise of Kundalini and opening of third eye. I wanted to write this experience for our uh, magazine which is to be published on Swami's 65th birthday. <coughs> I wrote this experience, gave it to Dr. Saraf, Vice Chancellor, then Vice Chancellor. He gave it to Swami. Then Swami said, I know. He got this experience because of fighting with Ganesha for me. But tell him to write other simple experiences. This is how this was a bosom and uh, affectionate, loving conversation with Lord Ganesha through an unparliamentary route of language. I don't, I, I, I don't suggest that we should take to this path <laughs> ordinarily or by emulating somebody. Mm-hmm.